Some guy came up to me the other day. He said, you look a lot like Lazarus. Um, <laughs> Once left for dead in the political wilderness, Mark Sanford blazed a comeback trail that will take him all the way to Washington. I just want to acknowledge a, uh, a, a God not just of second chances, but third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth chances, because that is the reality of our shared humanity. Sanford captured a vacant South Carolina congressional seat by a decisive margin, overcoming a scandal that nearly destroyed his political career. The extramarital affair with a mistress from Argentina that he once falsely claimed was a hike on the Appalachian Trail may finally be behind him. Was this redemption? Uh, you know, I, I, I think we're always on a search for redemption, and I think that this is certainly a degree of political redemption, and we'll, we'll see. Uh, where things go from here. It's less about that, though, than it is about this second chance to make an impact in Washington, D.C., where I think impact is desperately needed. If Sanford's life has at times seemed like a trashy romance novel, this latest chapter has been a real page turner. For some voters, all was forgiven. Ye who is without sin, cast, cast the first stone. stone. Others, not so much. Tired yeah, of him. I don't like him. I don't trust him. I don't respect him. But it wasn't enough to help Sanford's opponent, Elizabeth Colbert Bush, sister of comedian Stephen Colbert, in this conservative district. I will continue to fight for all of you in South Carolina. <laughs> Thank you as well for being here, love. Appreciate it. Thank you. As for Sanford, his personal life is also on the mend. His mistress is now his fiance, a chapter she's keeping private for now. Sorry, it's Mark's night. Thank you so much for everything, but it's his night. So I hope you understand. People are going to want to know, can we trust this guy? Is he going to let us down? You asked that question before, and you're coming back to the same question, and I give you the same answer, which is that, um, that, that trust is ultimately earned. Sanford could be sworn in as early as this week, but Democrats are mocking his victory, with one top party operative saying he should be placed on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. But it's Sanford who's getting the last laugh. He won. Jim Acosta, CNN, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina.